Hi everyone, this is Jessica from Jessica's Art Studio, and today I'm going to show you guys another project for my May art kit. Since Mother's Day has passed, if you didn't get a chance to make your Mother's Day card or your little clay flower, you can use those supplies today to create a flamingo. If you need these supplies, go ahead and click the link below to purchase your May art kit, and then let's get started. All right, everyone, to create this flamingo, we're gonna have to do a couple steps. The first is to get a piece of cardboard. This can be from your art kit or any piece of recycled cardboard that you have on hand. From our kit, we're going to need our blue paint, our pink paint, and our yellow paint. We're also going to need a paintbrush, a container of water to rinse our brush, and some paper towels in order to dry and clean our brush. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my yellow paint at the very top of my cardboard, and then we'll slowly transition into pink and then into blue at the very bottom. The trick is to spread your paint as evenly and smooth as you can. Nice thin layers will dry fast. Now that I'm about a third of the way down, I need to rinse my paintbrush and grab my color paint. Now with the pink, I'm going to use my paintbrush to blend it up into the yellow. You'll notice where these colors overlap, we might get some orange colors. Now that I have one third left of my cardboard, I'm going to switch to my last color, which is blue. Wash and dry your brush and spread the blue all across the last bottom third. Now that we're done with our background colors, we're going to use our sponge from our art kit to create some palm leaves. Take your sponge from your art kit and use a marker to sketch out the shape of your palm leaf. Usually it's a shape kind of like a football or an almond. Next, take a pair of scissors and we're going to cut it out. Next, we need our yellow paint and our blue paint, as well as a paintbrush to create the green for our leaf. Starting with yellow, I'm going to spread a thick, even layer across my sponge. Then I'll take a tiny bit of blue and spread that on top of my yellow, mixing them together to create green. The more paint you use, the more times you'll be able to print your sponge. Using your sponge with green, go ahead and put palm leaves anywhere you want to. The last few parts of our background are going to use a little bit of our clear glitter acrylic glaze to make our water look sparkly and a black permanent marker to add the details like birds flying in the sky or the lines on our palm branches. I'm going to start with my clear glitter acrylic glaze. Using my clean dry paintbrush, I'm going to apply the glitter glaze to the water. I'm gonna give this just a couple minutes to dry and then we'll use our permanent marker to add our details.
Now that my paint is dry, I'm going to use my black permanent marker to add details to my palm branches, uh, birds in the background, and any other details in the water that you think will look good. Our background is complete, so now we need to do the final part of this project, which is to use our model magic and create a flamingo. To create your flamingo, you need your pack of model magic, your black permanent marker, your red, and your pink marker from your Crayola pack of markers. You also might want a pair of scissors in case you need to cut open your model magic. With my pack, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut about three fourths off. I'm setting aside my smaller piece in case I want to use some white for later. With my pack of Maddle Magic, I'm now going to soften it in my hands and warm it up. It's easier to work with after you play with it for a little while. Now that my clay is getting softer, I'm going to stretch it into a big, flat pancake shape. Then I'm going to start with my red marker and draw color all across this piece. You can do this as many times as you want to in order to get the color pink that you want. I'm mixing my clay together now that it has all this red in it to turn it pink. As you can see, my clay is starting to change colors, but I definitely want it to be more vibrant than this. So I'm gonna do the same thing again, flatten it into a pancake and keep adding color until you get the color that you want. Feel free to switch it up between pink and red markers. All right, so my clay is the color of pink that I would like for my flamingo. So now I need to make the shapes for my flamingo. I'm going to separate my clay into one small piece and one slightly bigger piece. This one's maybe about half the size of this one. Using the smaller piece, I need to create the neck and the head for my flamingo. To do that, I'm going to roll a long worm shape by rolling my hands together, it turns my piece into a long worm. I'm applying more pressure on the end than I am on this side. This side's going to be the head, so I want it to be a little bit thicker than the neck. We're looking almost for a candy cane shape kind of like this. Now that I have the neck done for my flamingo, I can create the body. Using the rest of that clay that I saved, I'm going to roll it into a circle and flatten it into a pancake. A flamingo's body is more of an oval shape, so I'm gonna just carefully stretch my circle to be more of an oval. I can also pinch one end to be a little pointy so that my flamingo looks like he has some tail feathers. Now I have the shape of the body and the shape of the neck. We need to assemble this on our cardboard. By applying a little bit of pressure, your clay should stick very easily to the cardboard. Okay, it's time for the last few details. I'm going to take that pack of white model magic that I saved and use this to create an eye, but I'm also going to need my black permanent marker to add details to the eyes and beak and legs.
taking a very small piece of white model magic, I'm gonna roll this into a circle and create the eye. Now using my black permanent marker, I'm going to add a dot to the middle of the eye, an eyelid, and maybe some eyelashes. It's up to you. I can also add a little bit of black to the end of the beak. And then I'm going to draw some legs coming off of the bottom of my flamingo. Finally, if you'd like to add some texture to your flamingo, go ahead and grab one of those markers that we used before, but using the cap, we're going to press against our dough to create texture. All right, you guys, have fun creating this flamingo project. If you need to purchase your May art kit, go ahead and click the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have fun creating. Bye.